Hi, I'm Ollie Littlejohn. I'm Head of Partnerships at Codebase, and that means I work with our partners closely, but also our community to make sure people get the most out of what we do. Loosely speaking, no code is all about making software without writing a line of code, um, which means that you can be using graphical interfaces, you know, drag and drop, um, more human centric language, say, you know, things like if this happens, then something else should happen. It's a new way of making software. And there's kind of two ways you can use it right now. So there are operational uses for it, where you can automate processes that already exist, um, or you can actually use it to build whole new products, um, which is really exciting that you can start building new apps, new services that you would previously have had to have been a developer to create. I've seen people building food delivery apps, uh, marketplaces, even some guys who they rebuilt uh, Twitter entirely from scratch, just using no-code tools. Um, not because they felt anyone wanted a new Twitter, but because they wanted to show that it's entirely possible. That's the really exciting thing is now, if you're a non-technical um, person, you can actually build new new apps and new tools. But also there's the operational stuff where um, really it's about kind of automating stuff that you find boring. So say if there's a spreadsheet that you have to fill in every day or just a process that you just find a little bit dull, you can kind of automate it out of your life. I think it's going to enter the mainstream in quite a massive way. Um, there's going to be a lot more opportunities. Um, but for instance, like right now in the UK, there's relatively few no-code agencies. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of them pop up. I think we're going to see no-code skills kind of creeping into people's like the desirable and then essential skills in like job specs. Um, you're probably going to end up with, you know, someone who's like your chief automation officer um, in more established startups, you know, someone who really understands how how no code can function across the entire organization. I think it's going to be really interesting to see if if larger organizations start picking up no code because, you know, it, it'll take them longer to adopt it um, just because it's kind of a new thing. But I think there'd be a lot of opportunities for startups to create more bespoke no code solutions for, for larger organizations. And I think that's a really exciting opportunity. I think like any community or ecosystem, it needs to develop more and we need to have more people from different backgrounds using it. Um, for instance, right now, um, it's really, really difficult to find someone who understands no code, who also understands, say, design principles. Um, and I'd love to see people from, you know, backgrounds like design and UX, but also marketing and operations and, and sales and all of these things, playing around with these tools to kind of understand what it can do. Because, yeah, you need a lot of different perspectives in how you can use these tools to, to make them really, really useful. I think it's huge in that it will let people go to market and experiment a lot, lot faster rather than having to outsource development to, you know, a, a, an agency or um, trying to find a technical co-founder or even trying to learn to code yourself. Um, you know, really, you can start thinking about building your app today um, without any of those other folks uh, needing to get involved. I know more established startups who spent the last 10 years building in code. And now they're using no-code tools to really quickly experiment with new features. Um, so rather than building something completely, you know, from scratch again, they're basically stringing together, um, you know, existing tools to create simple things to see if their customers like it. And I think that's that's huge. Um, it's it's yeah, it's all about the, the speed of execution um, that very suddenly you can start start working very quickly. I think like any new thing, um, it can be quite intimidating to figure out where to start um, because there are so many different tools that are out there. There's a growing ecosystem. You know, if you want to build stuff on mobile, then you should be playing with these things. If you want to build web apps, you should be playing with these things. I think there's some really great resources out there like uh, nocode.tech um, and 100 Days of No Code are both worth checking out because they both give you a really nice overview of what you can do. So if you want to start playing with these things, um, I definitely recommend checking out those two.